Hello vlog, hello everybody. Not a good vlogging day, it is uh, already five o'clock. Good morning, good afternoon. We had some things to do today that I couldn't really bring the camera out. So anyway, now I'm back home. I got some packages in the mail. I think it's sweatshirts. So we're gonna open these. Two Oh, this is sweatshirt for me and a sweatshirt for John. Is that the one you wanted? No? Is that the one you wanted? Did you eat the pine cone? Did you eat a pine cone? Come on. Let's go, Henry. We're gonna go outside. Did you eat my pine cone? Was that you? Did you chew on my pine cone? Was that you? Hmm? Was that you, Holly? Was that you, Holly? Was that you, Henry? Are you going to school now? It's warmer out today. A little rainy, but warmer. You only have a half a day on Friday. Woohoo! What do you do all day? Huh? Take your finals? You don't have to. Your brother does. He better do well. Check his grades. Yeah, Christmas is still up, but we need to take it down. Christmas is, gotta go to bed. No more Christmas, gotta put it away. I just don't have the time right now. Maybe later. Can't vlog very long outside, it just started to rain. It is so warm, it's like 50 degrees. Everything is melting, look. Come on. <laughs> Dale was so happy. He was just laughing, looking at the rain with his big smile. The um, the sensory feeling of rain on his face has always made him like really happy. He he likes the way it feels, you know. I think we take it for granted, you know, it just the feeling of the raindrops. Oh, oh, did you see the squirrel, Holly? The snow feels like slush. Slippy. <laughs> All right, come on, let's do our thing. I have an eye doctor's appointment this morning and I need to go to work. So we need to, <laughs> me and my little toddlers here. All right, you guys are totally wrapped around my legs. Like, ah. and the eyes are fine, no change, they look good. And I ordered a new pair of regular glasses because my other ones were three years old and falling apart. So I said, well, I'm due and I have the insurance to cover it. So now it's absolutely pouring out and warm, it's in the 50s. I really like it, but it's kind of hard to see because of the fog that's rising off of the snow. So I'm going to work now for a few hours to my office. I haven't been all week. I've been working a little bit from home, but uh, I need to get over there. It's, it's just hard covering every aspect, you know, between Daniel's appointments and uh, Thomas's stuff. And uh, we had a meeting yesterday. We um, it has to do with a family member who's sick, and it was something that John and I had to handle together. And that took up a good part of my day, but it's crazy, you know? And I I managed so much at home and all of Daniel's stuff and I've been going to therapy and trying to get healthy myself and doing things for me and getting, like, you know, 
making my own appointments for things that are important. My, my guitar, my hair, my, my life, my friends, my things. Ah, but I have to go to work too. And work is hard because it's on top of everything else. Like, I will get home after juggling and getting down off to school and getting out the door and getting to work. And then I'll get home and I'll hear, you know, well, what's the plan for dinner? So, <laughs> kind of annoying sometimes. It's always my job to make sure. If, if, if I don't plan it, nobody else will plan it for, well, I shouldn't say that. Sarah is remarkable at planning her meals. She's not here right now. She is in Maryland visiting her friend. And she has the flu too, by the way, I think. She's sick. She said she had 102 fever down there. But anyway, I can't help her. Hopefully she's gonna be okay. She's coming home tomorrow. But it's just not fair, you know? But she plans her own meals and does a great job. It's just that the rest of them, it's all up to me to plan what they're going to eat. And there will be no eating or people will eat garbage if I don't plan, you know, a rounded meal for them. That's just an ongoing problem I have is this expectation that I do everything. So, whatever. I'm going to get some coffee right now. See me? I'm going to the Starbucks drive through and then I'm gonna go across the street to work for a while and just focus on that and that alone. I'm leaving work now. I was here for four hours, so that's pretty good. And John and I have to go pick up a car tonight that is, it went into the shop just to get an oil change and tires rotated, etc. Thomas has a school function tonight. It, <clears throat> wow, it's called Western Regionals. And it's basically a regional program that he auditioned for. He's in the jazz band. Ah, he's in the jazz band on tenor saxophone. But they rehearse tonight and they rehearse tomorrow and they have a big concert tomorrow night. And so I don't have to worry about him. He's taken care of for food. So Sarah's still in Washington. She is coming back tomorrow. So it's just me and John really. Uh, Daniel's with Chris, his nurse. So we gotta go, after I go home, he's meeting me there. We gotta go pick up the car, the Honda. And I'm hoping we'll maybe go eat somewhere, have some dinner, because I'm starving. I had a protein shake on my way out and then I went to, and then yogurt, that's it, all day. And I'm kind of hungry. And it's rainy and it's miserable out. It's just icky, icky, icky. But pretty good, kind of weird to work four hours on a Friday for me in the afternoon. Uh, usually Fridays is always, tends to be one of the days I don't go into the office, but I just needed to, because I didn't, and so many things pull me in all directions. So whatever. I'm sure the dogs have to go out and I don't know what the house looks like. So yeah, because I just ran out the door. That's the thing is, you know, people don't even realize that they go off to work and usually I tidy up the house after they're gone to work in school, clean up the kitchen, put things away, put the dishes away, have it in a good state and then I go run or go to work or do whatever I'm gonna do. And when I have to rush off to go do something like, I don't have time to clean up the kitchen and clean up their messes and tidy things up, then the house is messy and nothing is ready for dinner and then everyone comes home and they're cranky because there's some kind of like, you know, I guess I'm just that good. You know, they think that I can work and be home at the same time. Maybe some people can do that. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. But there is nothing ready and there is a mess there. So hopefully it doesn't cause a problem. Yeah. The dogs are locked up though. Hopefully they're not going to have a mess. But I worked probably a little longer than I thought I was going to. So that's good. Because guys, you know, life is hard. And 
yeah, I got a disabled child and I'm and I'm pulled in a million directions and I rarely sleep, but I still need to pay the bills and pay for food and, and take care of things. So, you know, you, you just push and you work. And when you're healthy, you just push. And then you have fun. When you are done pushing, <laughs> you can find time, which is hard to do sometimes. So, whatever. Just going home, meeting up with John, and I'm trying to get him to take me to get dinner. If he doesn't, I don't know. But I still have to go to the grocery store and CVS and the dry cleaner and da da da. Oh my God, I have a long list. Because yesterday he had a long list and we did his stuff. Because he was home. Wow. <sighs> Whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just tired. I just gotta keep pushing and just whatever into the rainy day Daddy's home. Who is that? they are so excited to see daddy they are so excited come here come here in the house come on in the house we were just outside, obviously. Hi. I couldn't get that thing up. I'm sorry. It was really pouring, so I threw the tarp down. Is there water in the basement? I didn't look yet. Probably water in the basement, right? Yeah, probably. All right. Your Hi. daddy loves? Hi. It's okay. She's all wet. It's okay. I know they're both all wet. They both look like Jerry Curl girls. They look like Rick James. I'm a super freak. Super freak. I'm super freaky. Yeah. You're all curly. Mm-hmm. Now so wet. Okay. Going to Texas Roadhouse with John. Where is he? I'm meeting him here. I don't know where he is, so we're gonna find him. That was really fun. We went out to eat. I had a steak and John did too because we're at a steak place. Now I'm a little full. I'm not used to having steak and potato <laughs> and salad and bread and peanuts and oh my goodness. I ate too fast so I have to go to CVS now to pick up some medicine and then that's it. I can go home and go to bed I guess. I feel like you're in the water. In a fish tank. <laughs> you're in a fish tank. 